Once again, an NJTV watch party brought together politicians, strategists, and NJTV editorial staff. Right off the bat, they heard Governor Christie take a novel approach. Hi, my name is Chris Christie, and I'd like you to take the camera off me and put it on the audience. A governor sometimes accused of being all about me staked out the ground that it's not about him. It's about us. You see, that's why I'm running for president, because leadership is not about me. It's about our country. And what we talk about tonight is not about us. It's about the people in the audience tonight. I think in the beginning he started off really strong, the idea of making it about the, the audience and about the American people. That is what people really do want to hear. The first hour included lots of personal swipes. His visceral response to attack people on their appearance. I never attacked him on his look. And believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. The simple I didn't wanna, fact is. Excuse me. One second. No. I the didn't want to. Yeah, you good. cannot take. More energy tonight. I like no. that. Christie tried to bring it back to the big picture, for example, on Planned Parenthood. We're fighting with each other up here. We agree. Let's ask Hillary Clinton. She believes in the systematic murder of children in the womb to preserve but their body parts, Dana, in a way that maximizes their value for sale for profit. It is disgusting, and the American people but need to hear it. I think that the people who ask these questions have to drill down on the issues and less about whether he made a comment about someone's face. Trump and Christie got into a disagreement about immigration, building a wall, and deporting all illegals. Right now, we don't have a country, we don't have a border, and we're going to do something about it. And it can be done. For 15,000 people a day to be deported every day for two years is an undertaking that almost none of us could accomplish given the current levels of funding and the current number of law enforcement officers. But here's what we need to do, and I think this is where Donald is absolutely right. What we need to do is to secure our border. But Christie never attacked Trump. In fact, the two seemed chummy. By the way, I agree, with, I agree with what Chris is saying. Christie's best moment came when Trump and Carly Fiorina started tearing down each other's business records. That is, in fact, precisely the way you read, ran your casinos. You ran up mountains of debt. I did great in Atlantic City. I knew when to get out. My timing was great. For the 55-year-old construction worker out in that audience tonight who doesn't have a job, who can't fund his child's education, i got to tell you the truth. They could care less about your careers. They care about theirs. Let's start talking about that on this stage. I think the back and forth with Trump and Farino uh, was significant. Um, and I, I think he's established himself as um, an adult on the stage. And I think that we've said all along, if, if the sort of vintage Christie comes out, that will help him. He's trending on Twitter right now. And I think that's a positive thing for him. Trump is being peeled away. He's showing uh, he, uh, that he is bordering on a buffoon. Who's doing well up here? Carly Fiorina, she's very impressive. Carly Fiorina. Hillary. Hil Hillary's doing well? She's winning tonight. How so? All these guys are killing each other. <laughs> we love it. Who's doing well? Anybody? I don't think anyone's delivered a body blow. I don't think there's anything memorable so far. I think Christie had a, a big hit with Rand Paul last debate, but I don't know what the, what the news is going to be afterwards. What's the, the, the line that everyone's going to use? How's Christie doing? Better. Better? Better, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, incremental improvement, I think. Yeah. Well, I think the fact that they have three hours <laughs> for him to get an opportunity to speak actually helped him. I was struck, and this may have no bearing on the presidential race, but I was struck by the fact that Atlantic City got beat up at least five different times today, and the governor did nothing to defend even the concept of Atlantic City as a, as a city that's viable. Christie was asked how he's coping in this year of the outsider. I am a Republican in New Jersey. <laughs> I wake up every morning as an outsider. And he stuck to his new theme. What the American people want to hire right now is somebody who believes in them and believes that they are the ones who can fix our country. I will be the vessel through which they can fix this country. But it's not about me. It's about all of you. What'd you think? Uh, I think Carly Fiorina came into the debate as a winner before it even started because she got onto the stage. I think she acquitted herself tremendously well. In my opinion, she stood out the most. Um, and, you know, I think in terms of Governor Christie, because that's where we're from, our homeland, he did a fine job, but I think he did enough to move the bar. I think he did, he did okay. He didn't do any big home runs and he didn't make any big faux pas. I think he's going to take a bump tonight. He's going to move up. I thought he 
acted presidentially, acted diplomatically. Very impressed with Carly Fiorino. I think she was impeccably prepared. The governor did a great job. They all had their moments. Some, like Fiorina, probably helped themselves. The next GOP debate is in about six weeks. From the NJM Community Room at NJTV headquarters in Newark, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.